Welcome back to Bones Barbecue and Southern Cooking. As you can see, I got a nice big old pork tenderloin here, pork loin, whichever you want to call it, about three and a quarter pounds. Cooked a pork tenderloin last weekend, did a bacon wrap one. I'm going to try a different wrap on this one today. I'm not sure if I'm going to mess it up. I might screw it up pretty bad, but I'm going to watch some things about how to do a stuffed pork tenderloin. So, we're going to try to butterfly this thing here. And I'm going to stuff it with sausage, a little bell pepper, a little onion, some cheese. We're going to coat it down with some of the my booty rub rub. And we'll see how we go from there. That's the important part here. I'm either going to screw this up or I'm going to do it good. I got two knives here. Not sure which one's going to work good, but uh, I watched several things on these, but we'll try, we'll try this this way first. Could use a little bit bigger knife. That seems to be working pretty good. Let's see, where are we there? I won't cut it too thin here. Or too thick. I want to be able to wrap it up pretty good. It's my first time trying this, so if I screw up a little bit, put a little hole in it. Can't laugh at me too bad, but yeah, you still can. There we go. Stuff hanging off the ends here. surprise it actually got it pretty good there folks real thick but my Chicago cutlery knife did great I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff here get it all mixed up then I'm gonna stuff this tied up then get the smoker fired up eat this for dinner tonight we'll be back in a few minutes all right everyone we we'll back let me have a beer here real quick but go with this we got about a pound of sausage, an onion, a little orange bell pepper, and I got some sharp and mild cheddar cheese. So let's go and get these things here chopped up and get them mixed in. A little cheese mixed in with the sausage. Then we'll start getting this thing stuffed and all wrapped up. So I guess we'll just fast forward through most of this. start mixing this up and getting this thing stuffed. Alright, 
getting ready to get this mixed up here, like I said, but I want to go ahead and put a little bit of my booty rub rub on there. I love this stuff. The Memphis style barbecue seasoning. Man, this, this works really good. I ain't gonna overpower it. We just gonna get some on the inside of it. A little extra flavor. All right, now the fun part. Those come in handy. My wife got these somewhere real cheap the other day. They fit a lot better than those blue and black ones that are so tight. Now we're going to go ahead and get this sausage. Get everything all mixed up good here. Love my ham and cheese sandwiches, so any type of pork and ham or pork and cheese is always pretty good to go together. And we're gonna add a little bit more than that. We got that's just the, the mile. And we'll start the cheddar cheese. I'd like some mozzarella too, but I didn't have no mozzarella in there today. But hey, use what you got. go. Now to figure how to stuff this thing. Not sure with that one yet, but let's see what we can come up with. Now I'm just going to lay it in here every once in a while. Spread it across. I want it to go throughout the whole wrap. Well, that's some good smelling sausage too. All right, let me go grab some string, get ready. We'll roll this thing up, get it ready for the smoker. All right, everybody, back. Got my cooker's twine. We'll put a little more booty rub on this. Now to hope we can get this thing rolled up. Start here. Keep her going. Oh man. Right on the side there. Alright, let me measure out some twine. Always use a little extra. Always cut it off after you're done. I'm gonna try at least about four on here. Come on, cut. There we go. Hold it. That cuts better like that. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this up under here. Get this first end done here. Wrap it twice this way. Pull it down. Tie another knot. Oh yeah, there we go. 
Little one on this side. Trying to get here toward the ends first. Get them wrapped up and sealed good. we go. Now we're wrapping some plastic, let her sit in the refrigerator for about an hour, then I'll go fight her, smoke her up, and get her cooking. We'll see y'all then. There we go. So you've been sitting in the refrigerator here about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'm gonna put some of this booty rub on it. Go fire the smoker up, let her sit out here and get a little bit warmer up the room temp. Then we're gonna go throw it on a smoker. Seasoning. Let's go get the smoker fired up. Get ready to start cooking. All right, back out here at the master built. Get her turned on. Set the temp up to 250 today. Set the time for about set it for five again. All right, heating lights on. Get ready to go. Starting to heat up. All right, let's see when we get ready to put this thing back on, folks. All right, master built heated up. Just put the wood in. She ain't started smoking yet. We're going to go ahead and throw this big old pretty thing in there. Good old breezy day to day. Set this on the ground. The wind's blowing so bad out here. Blow the napkins and everything away. I'm gonna put it in the middle rack. I'm gonna pull my meat probe out. I'm gonna put the meat probe in it now. Get her going. We can let her go here at 250. Wait till she gets up to about 145, 150, and we'll pull her off. When she gets about 140, I'm going to come out and put some barbecue sauce on it and let that caramelize on it. We'll see you folks when she's done. Hey, everyone. Here it is. The stuffed pork tenderloin. The cheese coming out a little bit. I'm going to sit here and rest 10, 15 minutes. Everything else is getting ready. I'm going to slice her up, get ready for some dinner.